This is quite cheesy, but it's also a necessary thing to say. And I don't care if it's cheesy because welcome to life with Lydia. It's kind of my aesthetic, you know. I've also finally found a really quiet place to record and I'm going to set my phone up there. One, because the lighting is needed. So, to dear future me, it's been so long since I said that. I haven't done one of these videos in around two years. So uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Enough of looking at the past, time to look onwards to the future. You've had two months going on three months of stability, which is more than you could have said the month in the months prior. I'm not suicidal anymore and I hope you're not now. You've moved on from so much negativity in your life and you live in London, which is a pretty intense thing. There are humans around, that's not okay. You're living in London, living your life and I hope you're still enjoying your life. Don't tell me you fell down that rabbit hole, I know Tumble is a bitch. Get off it. Yes, I'm telling myself off in the future. The next thing is important, right, this is the most important thing in this video. Do you still have bright hair? The bright hair is the important thing, you know? We, we like the bright, okay? It's not very bright, I need to redo it, but hey. I like the bright hair. If you haven't got bright hair, why? Why would you leave this life? Please tell me you haven't forgiven those people who caused you pain. Please tell me you've improved on it. Like, you don't need the negativity. Don't forgive the negative people. They're bad. Stick to positive people. I'm currently almost 21. That is a scary number. 21. Oh god. I'm considered stable. Woo! I need a party popper. Bing! And I hope you're stable too, because stability. So I'm almost 21 and I'm considered stable and I really I hope I am still now that I'm watching this in the future. Um, we hit rock bottom this year. We've been through a lot. We've been through a lot you and I. Can't deny it. Same person. We hit rock bottom this year and we have literally been in a custody suite under arrest because we were suicidal. We went on trial in court and one and yeah that shit was hard you like can't deny that can't we but we got through it and we're still alive and that's the important thing don't be ashamed of the story and don't let anyone tell you that you should be you're a lot stronger than you think and a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for and i hope that's something you always genuinely remember i'm very yes i am what's up guys i'm literally lying on the floor in the middle of london how oh, great my life's fun isn't it there's a cool fountain over there so i decided to film here and I hope my audio isn't too shit. I'm not afraid of the dark, I'm afraid of not finding the light once again. I love that quote because it's so stupid and real. Like that's my justification. I'm cool, I'm fun. It's all worth it, Olivia. It's all worth it. It's well weird filming outside, guys. This is weird as fuck. I haven't filmed outside in forever. People don't cost. Ooh, and my camera nearly flew off the side. That's great. There's a train going underneath me. Today is World Mental Health Day, and I want you to know there is always support. There is always hope. Always remember that you are the train driver, and you can't control the track, but you can control moving forwards. A small push backwards sucks, but you can pick yourself back up and fight back harder than you have before. I've said this in videos, and you can't expect other people to do the work for you. You have to want to do it yourself. This year, I've put in a lot of work on myself, been through hell and back, and here we are. Still alive and fighting and doing better than I have before. My entire channel is based on mental health awareness. I released a book earlier this year about mental health awareness and recovery. Child, you're not very good at looking at people. And I've got the film shout out part of my video though, because that's a short part. I can do that on the floor, so it looks a bit less weird. I say that, it really doesn't, does it? But hey, so in this video I decided to shout out some of the creators I've been watching and there's a fucking train! The people I've decided to go for are mental health advocates and they talk about mental health online, they talk about their journeys, they're just inspirational human beings. I have gone for Kay, also known as Bipolar Bug here on YouTube. I've gone for Jason, also known as Jason Stanley Cantor. Hattie, also known as Hattie Gladwell, she writes articles for Metro. Confessions of a former mental patient. Twitter, the Twitter user who talks about mental health and their journey. And then there's a blog that I've just written an article for called Be Your Own Light Blog. Uh, I follow them on Twitter and I'll link all of these people in the description down below. What's going on you guys? I'm currently sat in my kitchen. Fun, I know. This vlog is very interesting. And the person I want to give a shout out to who has supported this channel unbelievable, an unbelievable amount is a girl called Lucy and her Twitter is 
Lucy Cosmedia. Um, I will leave a link to her in the description. I've said this before in videos, I'll say it again. You can't expect someone to pick you up and fix you. You have to be willing to put in the time and the effort to kind of move yourself forward. Yeah, support helps for people, but ultimately you are the only person who can improve your life. Not saying that like, professional help doesn't help, because it does, it's there for a reason. This year i kind of been up and down, and towards the end of the year this channel's turned into something really positive and productive and pro mental health awareness and all of that, which is amazing, and that's important. I also wrote a book this year, which is themed entirely around mental health, and the journey I went on this year Serenity also wrote a chapter in this book and I'll leave a link to Serenity's stuff in the description. Serenity has also been camera person for this video. Um, Serenity wrote a bit of the book as well and that'll be linked in the description. If you haven't already bought it, I'd recommend reading it. It's a great thing and it helps me. So all these things will be linked in the description down below. I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. You know what, vlogging when you have really bad anxiety and haven't had your medication today is the worst thing ever. Um, and also try not to give away where you live, it's also quite hard. Because when you find somewhere, there's no there's people. When you find somewhere you can't really do it, there's no people and it's terrible. It's horrible. It's annoying. And this camera's really fucking heavy. Life is fun, kids. Have fun. Like, I mean, seriously, like, kids, have fun. There's a park. I don't know why I said that. I am frightened here. I'm a good person. Short this to the wind, yo! I, I hate the fact I just said that in public. I need to stop wearing my glasses on my head. I'm just gonna fuck around for a minute. In you shot. Know, you know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> this is harder to get on than you think. What is wrong with me? What is, like, what actually is wrong with me? Other than everything. I'm not. Hi. Hi. So you're not weird about my vlogs, I've kind of got a bit more confident with them and I'm now Logan Paul so I walk and talk to the camera. I'm really not Logan Paul, please look for to Logan Paul. I, I, I was going to set a big joke that I'm not going to make actually because that'd be kind of ironic. But hey, hi guys, I'm Lydia, I'm 20 and I live in London. I look at you uni. Um, you know, if you go back far enough on this channel you can see the point that I hit this year which was horrendous and now I walk and vlog. I don't, I, I've just got another human and I'm taking advantage of them. I've never actually been up here. Should we walk this way? So my channel's based on mental health awareness to those of you who don't know. And it's been a journey, isn't it? Really. So in my videos I advocate for mental health positivity and not feeling crippled by your diagnosis. Like, don't feel like it's such a bad thing. Everyone has a mental health. If you have mental illness, it's fine. You can get help, you can move on in life. It doesn't have to define the life, whether it means taking medication, going to therapy, seeing someone. It's always fine, you can always get through it. I'm trying to build up my confidence with vlogging in public. That's the aim of this vlog, okay? I'm trying to get used to vlogging in public and the only way I can do it really is by getting Serenity to hold the camera. And it was working because Lydia's actually talking to a camera while walking. And this vlog is about vlogging with anxiety, but it's mainly for like people who want to get more confident with like taking photos in public or vlogging in public without feeling like a fucking weirdo, which I do feel a bit like a weirdo. Don't get me wrong, there's a fucking gigantic ass camera in front of me that I'm talking to it. But I want to build my confidence up and that's what this vlog is about. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I'm going to stop recording because I know my camera is splashing on the red and I want to get another shot before I go home. And I don't want you to know where I live. So yeah, bye. Okay, this is just for you, Kay. Because I know it bothers you. I'm a depressed person. Wait, 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 I can do it properly. <laughs> That's just for you, Kay. There we go. And cut. I'm pretty sure 
Oh, monsters. 